how do these belong together? Ha! What? If I place Thorpe's gun up there and corner him so that he has to stand up to get it. What? I, d I was just testing and see what deduction we can get, but I didn't think that this was a thing. The show was about to begin. All I needed was an audience and some patience. Who are you calling? Weekly? Weekly? Pictures? Yes! Come on! <laughs> Stop it! Arr. Don't you know who you're <laughs> dealing with, matey? <laughs> silly man! Mutiny! You wants to be shark bait, do you? <laughs> oh, Alexa. I feel terrible for keeping you waiting. She's John. dressed in uh, black, but she's smiling. There was on board, so... Stop. Funeral? Question mark? Uh, you see what I have to put up with. All right, councilman, to the cabin with you. Onward. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Come along, Black Sad. Julie, don't let anyone <laughs> bother us. Oh, that's the uh, the music box, the melody in the background. Honey, will you wait in the boardroom for me, please? But I'll just be a minute then. I think you've already suffered enough. So I think we need to provoke okay. him somehow. That he has to reach for his gun. And think about where you'd like to have dinner tonight, okay? Smirnoff? I'm pretty sure this is Smirnoff. See, I'm not gonna pay you for solving the case. What? Ah, fair enough, considering I didn't solve it. Not yet. Fair enough. The truth is, I didn't solve it. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's not that. You'll get every penny we agreed on, and more. But not because you solved the case, but for her. Two days huh? ago, she wanted to end it all. Drop out of college, sell the gym. Too many wounds to heal. But through your incredible work, you managed to heal them. Well, perhaps not completely. It takes time to get over something like this. But at least, thanks to you, Sonia wants to be happy. She has hope. I'm going to help her make Dunn's gym the best in the city. Who would have ever guessed it, huh? I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot. And honestly, I wasn't sure she'd make it. Well, she hasn't just yet. But she will in time. Anyway, back to the case. All those people you confronted. Gil, the German doctor, even Mitchell. Huh. I would have never suspected him. Did they say anything? Why did they do it? Did they mention any accomplices? Ooh, uh... Okay, I wanna be... Let, let's be honest. Let's go for that. They did mention a certain surgeon. Surgeon? Ooh, he you knows. Have, uh, any idea who that could be? Oh yeah, we're gonna mislead him. Come on, come on. Yes. I'm sure this comes as no surprise. But it was Angus Mitchell himself. In fact, you gave me the lead by telling me he was a doctor. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I'm glad I could help. Uh, although, uh, uh, you see, besides my esteem for Joe and so Cat and Lion! <laughs> really hits close to home. I don't follow. How do you mean? Sports are my livelihood. Do you know how many of the athletes involved have a deal with me? How do you know that? What? Oh, wait. Sonia told you. Yes, that, that's it. Uh, Sonia told me. That's funny. <laughs> I never told Sonia. Well, then, <laughs> do you know how many of the athletes involved have a deal with me? All of them? All of them? Luckily, no. But a lot. So far, the papers only talk about bodies down at the docks and an illegal lab. Not one has mentioned the athletes. But if one word gets out, this agency's future could be on the line. Not to mention Sonia's and the gym's. Could I ask you to be discreet? Yeah, go to hell. I'm sorry to say your future is already on the line. What do you mean? I wasn't completely honest with you before. I know you're the surgeon. 
A journalist told me. <laughs> Ring a bell? Boss? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's looking for someone. I... I'm sure you've got good intentions, but you're wrong. What makes you think that? I, I'm sure there's an explanation. I know you ordered Randall Lee to kill Joe Dunn. And you tried to frame Bobby Yale, who had recently given up your medical services. Joe was my friend. Don't you get it? I know that you were a highly skilled sniper. And I think it was you who shot Randall Lee at the hospital. Have you seen me, Black Sad? How could I possibly do that? I hired you to solve this damn case. You think that's what a murderer would do? Only sure. because you thought I'd blame Bobby Yale and drop the case. But as soon as I realized something wasn't right, you sent Randall Lee and Gil to give me a scare. And when all that failed, you ordered Lee to kill me. You're the type that won't open his jaws once he's got his prey, aren't you? I think I've made that clear enough by now. Oh, here comes the gun. Here comes the gun, which is missing because he wants to kill him, right? What? Oh, no. Put yourself in my place for a minute. I did the whole game, baby. <laughs> You're a promising football player. As soon as I knew Just you. Just got back from the war. I got to know you. You're still a nobody. The man you saved kindly opens his house to you. And that man is still undone by his wife's passing. He works all day at his gym. And he drinks himself to sleep at night. So you practically end up raising his daughter. You give her her very first abacus. You encourage her to further her education. You comfort her when she misses her mother and her father. Meanwhile, your sporting career takes off. Life is good. Until one day, out of the blue, an accident cripples you. An old friend, Mitchell, tells you he knows someone who can help you. A German doctor. Why isn't it sink? His drugs take some time to work, but uh, they do wonders. You manage to walk for short bursts at a time, little by little. And those bursts keep getting longer. But the drugs aren't cheap at all. So you have to find a way to pay for them, don't you see? Yeah, I, I knew that hours ago. So you started by selling drugs to athletes. Then you decided to start an advertising agency to hire those same athletes. Drugs would help them excel and you'd get better ad deals. The perfect business model. Or the other Your way first around. Client, Craig Spano. His career had hit a rough patch, so. He was the guinea pig for your new operation. And yet, when the drugs started having serious side effects, you got rid of him. Afraid he would talk, you tried to kill him. That's why he hid. From then on, your business was smooth sailing. Yeah, no you kindness. You began to think you were above the law. You thought that you were untouchable. Until Joe Dunn found out, and then, two days before his unfortunate death, he came to see you. That's enough now! You stop it! Oh. He was about to get up. Now, I don't know if I'm above the law. <laughs> You're not. But I am sure as hell not beneath it. Do you know how much power I have? The kind of people I eat with every day. I don't care. I could shoot you right now, and nothing would happen to me. Go ahead, with try. That gun you keep in your drawer? I'm afraid not. I placed your pistol out of reach. 
Case Just solved, in case baby. You happen to confirm my suspicions, Iron Arm. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment with the police. Who's waiting <sighs> behind the door? And he's getting up. Yeah, what a fool. There will be pictures. Weekly is there. I'm I won't let anyone certain. wreck my life again. You should know that this one is empty. You should feel it. We deserve a future. You can come in now, Smirnoff. Timothy Wilson Thorpe, drop your weapon. You're under arrest. You have the right <laughs> to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one for you. <laughs> Mr. Thorpe. <laughs> there was a bullet? Still? <gasps> she killed him. She heard all of it. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. <sighs> that was close. Sonia Dunn, you are under arrest for the death of Timothy Wilson Thorpe. You have what a right story. Silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Just shut up. And now? Just give her a minute for Christ's sake. Can't you see she's still in shock? She'll need a minute to wrap her head around what just happened. And then I'll help you fulfill your duty, Chief. For once, we'll do the right thing. You have the right to an attorney. Uh, you okay. One, the state will provide one for you. Do you understand these rights as I have just read them to you? With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Watch your step. I don't want her to get arrested, to be honest, but yeah, she killed him, so... <sighs> yeah, I didn't want that. I wanted him to go to jail and try to be happy. Not like this. After Medicine Square Garden. Happened, the last thing I was interested in was the fight. Did Yale take drugs before the fight? Did Stone let him win? I had done everything in my power for things to go the way my moral compass dictated. Whether anyone would listen to me, that was another story. Because no matter what they tell us, our actions don't always determine our future. True. Not always. My moral compass. As if I even knew what that means. <laughs> I didn't even know what to think of my performance throughout the case. Oh, I haven't looked Did I actually. Have a clear conscience? Would I have made the same decisions, given the chance? No. 
I would have done some things differently. And with that, we made it through, and we're at the end of Black Set, underneath the skin. So, as always, I'm gonna let the credits roll, and see you guys at the end, because I'm still gonna take a look at, um, I, I think I'm gonna try to take a look at the, uh, the Hall of Fame pictures, how many cards I got, and, and I wanna take a look at, um, Black Set, and the things that we've done. So, see you in a bit. Yeah guys, we're at the end of Black Set underneath the skin. I was actually hoping to see my summary of everything. Um, I might have to click on continue, we're gonna take a look, or can we take a look at the menu? Oh yeah, we can take a look at here at the Hall of Fame, but we're gonna do this in just a bit. Yeah, this game was actually a lot of fun, it was really cool. I enjoyed the music, the story, and the voiceovers very much, as well as the artwork, or the art style. Yeah, it's pretty cool, like I said, I've never seen the comic books, to be honest, or the comics. Um, but I still played it because I really enjoy games like that, where you can decide different outcomes. This is why I love Telltale games, and I'm really sad that um, this company is no longer. Although there are some games coming in the future which are similar, and with some of the guys from Telltale, so have a look out for that, because I'm definitely gonna play those. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure which game is gonna be next. But if you guys wanna decide which one's next, then just take a look at my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. And as soon as you have Patreon, you can decide on the next games coming. Then I will make you and then I will make a vote, um, a poll, and you can just vote for the ones that you want to see next. I still have a few more, which will come. Yeah, like I said, has been a lot of fun, was really cool. And to be honest, as soon as I saw, not, not, not as soon as I saw Thorpe, but, uh, Thorpe, but um, closely after, I had the suspicion that he is behind everything. And in the end, I was right. And like I said, yeah, I'm not happy that Sonya is in jail. But, uh, yeah, that's just what it is. So, nothing else more to say. Um, I'm gonna... Guys, if you wanna stay uh, on for a little bit longer, I'm gonna take a look at uh, Black Set and on the decisions that I've made. And we're gonna take a look at the Hall of Fame to see how many cards I've missed. But for the ones who are leaving, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. And now let's take a look. So... First of all, let's take a look at the Hall of Fame. There we go. Oh, we're missing a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe? About 12 pages? Uh, um, cards or pieces. And there we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Once again, about like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 just out of this. Oh god, I missed nearly everything out of this. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again. <laughs> okay, so I mostly missed between 7 and 12. And then that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the game and take a look if we can take a look at... Well, I'm gonna look for Black Set and what we've done. So let's see if I can find this as well. Alright, there we are. That is our black set. We are actually more sensitive, a little bit more. <laughs> Resolute and cautious is just 50-50. We are more upright than pragmatic. We are 100% romantic. That's interesting. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. 60% astute. 97% swift. Yeah, yeah, I think our timing was quite good. Yeah, when it comes to those um, QTEs. 
And we have been a lot, yeah, very, very talkative. And we have a profitable case, 72.5%. Awesome. Yeah, guys, that was Black Set <laughs> under the skin. That's us. Well, that's me, actually, because I just played by myself. Um, if you guys play this game, you can have different outcomes, of course. And I would like to see actually different endings. Although I don't even know if this is possible, if I could actually misjudge everything. And then in the end, don't find out that it's Thorpe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the only thing I could have changed was Sonia going to jail. Maybe that's the only one, but not quite sure about that. All right, guys. Yeah, like I said um, before, if you want to support me, take a look at my Patreon page. And if you want to decide on the next games coming as well. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next week with a new game. Until then, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.